And for the word of God. So I'm, at this time, I'm going to ask everybody to stand on their feet. Amen. Before we bring Jermaine up. Hallelujah. Just stand on your feet. Come on, stand, stand, stand. And I want everybody to point their hands at him right now. Because he's going to be the vessel of the hour. Grandmother, it's been a long time. Amen. But we, we got him here to this place. And I told him in the office, I said, if you made it here, here is an indication that you're going to make it there. Amen. So I, I'm just blessed that he's here right now. Father, as I lay my hands on him tonight, oh God, I thank you, Father, that, oh God, that he's a word carrier. Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask you stir up the gifting that's inside of him. Lord, let your wisdom flow through him like as never before. God, let him decrease that you might increase tonight. Hopefully, go scrape the ball of his spirit tonight. Those things that he didn't study for that you're going to bring forth in his mind and his spirit right now. Let him be released, God. Father, I thank you that, oh God, when it's all said and done, you're going to get glory out of his life tonight. Father, use him. We open up our hearts to receive from this vessel tonight. Now use him in a mighty, mighty way that in the end you might get glory for it. In Jesus' name, let everybody give the Lord a clap. All right, at this time, I want to present to some and introduce to others. Brother Jermaine West, as he comes to minister the word of the Lord. Come on, let's give God a hearty TCC clap. Testing, can you hear me? Just give me a quick moment to get prepared here. Good evening. Before I get started, um, I want everybody to stand. While you stand where you are, I'm not going to give the sound guys any, any trouble. I used to be back there, so we love each other. But uh, sound guys. Um, what I want to first do is I want to pray. Uh, bow your heads, please, for a, moment, a quick moment of prayer. Dear gracious Heavenly Father, first and foremost, I just thank you for allowing me to be here. As Pastor said, getting here is an indication of that you're going somewhere else. But it, you have to get here first. And Lord, I thank you for everyone that had the ability and, and made their way out tonight for anything else that they could have been doing this evening. But I thank them for coming here to not hear Jermaine West, but to hear the word of the Lord. Because I am just a glorified piece of dirt before each and every one of you. And all I want to do is just pour out what God has given to me. So with that, I'd, I'd ask that you just open their minds, open their hearts, yes. that whatever that you allow me to put there will be able to be there, yeah. it will be able to germinate, and it will be able to grow. Yes. And this I ask in your son, Jesus' name. Amen. 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 You can be seated. My, I, I, I say it again, my God. But I, I'm, I, give me a moment because... This, this road that has gotten me to this point has been one that has had a lot of bumps along the way. But, you know, when, when you're pioneering something, sometimes you don't have the ability to have a paved and smooth road. But when you're pioneering in the spirit individually, you're going to have a lot of rocky road. And there's going to be a lot of things that you have to clear. But before I get started, I first and foremost want to pay homage to uh, my mother and father and the spirit and, 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 the, and the leaders of this house, uh, Pastor uh, Juan Woods Sr. And, and Vernice Woods, pastor as well, but they're also my cousins. <laughs> I'm blessed enough to say that I'm mentored in, the, in this Holy Spirit from family. Amen. And not just family in the spirit, but family in the natural as well. Amen. And I want to thank you. I want to thank you for putting up with me because I'm kind of like that kid that was the problem child. But, you know, if you just keep sticking in there like you did, stick and stay, God will make sure you get your pay. And I hope that I can pay that back tonight. Amen. For my grandmother. Amen. Oh, Amen. for my grandmother. Amen. To myself, I wasn't going to get emotional, but it just shows you that when God's going to lead it, you, you know, I, I'm seeing her crying. I'm about to go there, so yeah. I got to kind of go. 
But to her, she she is the one that yes. prayed me here. Yes. Anybody who doesn't believe that, that prayer works? Yes. Hello. Amen. Intercessory prayer? Yes. She she raised me and used to always tell me as she raised me that I was her tenant. And I never knew what that meant. But God made sure that I didn't know what it meant because he didn't want me to mess up with what she had prayed so long for. Amen. And just a few years ago, when God finally smacked me upside the head for the last time, and I finally said, yes, Lord, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing you, I'm hearing you, and yes, I'm ready to go. He revealed to me what being her Timothy was all about. And I am humbled and thankful, Grandmother, for you to stick in there with me. Amen. For all of my classmates that have come before me, in, the, in our ministry training class, you know, as Pastor said, when we first started, you know, we didn't know where we were going or how we were going to get there, but we finally arrived. And when we arrived, boy, was it on. The devil just came at every last one of us, starting with Brandon and then starting with Brittany and then, and, and you know, uh, Kevin and, and Renee and Tasha. And, and, and coming next week, I'm giving you an upcoming preview to coming, I mean, a preview to coming attractions. You know, they say he always says the best for last. My cousin JJ and Juan Woods Jr. will be up next week. But I want to thank, before I get started, I want to thank my cousin Tasha, because if it wasn't for her, I would not be able to be in this spot at this time. And she so graciously and humbly gave up her time and her space, which would have been right before her husband, to give me this time to allow some of my family from out of town to get here. And cousin, I thank you for that. So, without further ado... I want to get into the word and I want to I want to steal a few words and, and I know and I'm hearing it in my spirit and I'm not going to let it go. Yes, my Anjo, I love her much. Amen. I haven't forgot you. You are the in my heart. I wrote on the, on the back of my on the road on the back of my graduation picture to you that I will make you proud. Amen. I still have not yet done that. I'm trying. You say I've made you proud, but it's, it, there's much, much more to come. So I just didn't want to forget that shout out. Make sure you keep it right in the Lord. But before I get, before I get started, I want to say that I want to steal a little something from Reverend Choi here in Columbus, Ohio. He always says, I want to be the three B's for you tonight. I want to be brief. I want to be good. And then I promise I'll be seated. He said, I want to be brief because I don't want to give you too much and take too much of your time. That what, what you heard will inundate you. I want to be good. It's like a good meal. I want you to enjoy what you're about to eat. But then I'm going to be seated so that you can sit back, relax, and, and, and enjoy that meal that you just had. The title of my message this evening is Knowing Who We Are in Order to Know Why We Must Die. I'm dying for a reason. That's the subtitle. I'm dying for a reason. And when I, when I thought about this message, I thought about all that I had been through, everything that I had gone through. You know, everybody who knows me and knows me close would probably expect for me to stand before you and tell my story, but that wasn't the way God wanted it to go. It's what happened because of my story is the reason that I know that I'm dying for a reason. And I don't mean physically dying. I mean dying spiritually, dying to that Jermaine West that everyone else knew prior to, to this time that I'm here now. That Jermaine West that my grandmother had to pray for day and night because she didn't know whether I was going to ever fulfill what she had prayed so hard for. But I know that I'm dying for a reason. And what I want, where I want to go with that tonight is I just want everyone to just take a moment to relax open yourself. I, I promise that what I give to you is going to, it's going to bless you because it surely blessed me. And it's, it's our experiences is, is what helps us to be able to show where other people, we don't live in our experiences. Renee last week said, you know, is that your final answer? Well, Renee, I'm here to tell you after your message last week, is that your final answer? My final answer is I'm dying for a reason. 